Hi, welcome to another Honours Review and today I'm sharing with you the results of a little experiment I've been carrying out on myself for the last couple of months. I have every day been applying this Rapid Brow Eyebrow Enhancing Serum in an effort to make my eyebrows a little fuller than they were before. So did it work? We're about to find out. So I decided to try an eyebrow growth serum after getting a comment on um, an earlier review that I did of our therapy treatment. And one of the viewers said that basically she felt I could make a big difference to my appearance just by improving the shape of my eyebrows. And she said my eyebrows were a really bad shape. At first glance, I thought, oh, that's a bit harsh. Uh, but she and um, we had a little exchange a, a happy exchange um on the, on the comment section and um i kind of asked her you know what she would do to improve the shape of the brows and she sort of made the point that um they had that kind of 90s vibe of being over plucked and and pencil thin and she was right you know let me show you how i looked when i was 17 and i had much thicker brows and at the time, I thought they were horrific and manly, not realising that 30 years later they would be all the rage. So, you know, I plucked away merrily and um, I plucked here and I plucked underneath. And then also over time, they naturally thin anyway. So I've ended up with, with much thinner brows. Um, if I show you a picture of uh, my brows in October, this is where I started out and they really had got quite pencily, particularly in this section here. A little bit more bulbous here and then pencil thin. Not a great look. So um, I was in Boots, the pharmacist, and um, I just happened to, this was just a couple of days after I got that comment. So it was on my mind and I happened to spot the Rapid Brow Serum and it was on sale for £20. I have since checked out links on Amazon to see what the prices are like here in the UK generally and in the US. At the moment on Amazon, this is for sale. Let me just check the price. Um, it's £29 at the time of filming, but the recommended retail price in the UK is actually £37. So it's quite expensive. In the States, it's $25. So it seems to be quite a bit cheaper um, in, in the US. So I've included links to both in the video description um, so you can have a look for yourselves. Rapid Brow also make Rapid Lash, which some of you might have heard of, uh, both top selling products, but I think Rapid Lash was the original and presumably they share a very similar formula. Um, now the makers of Rapid Brow say that they have an exclusive Hexatine 2 complex and I'll just read now their description. It uses a unique blend of fortifying proteins and stimulating peptides uh, and nourishing ingredients designed to condition, repair and restore the appearance of brows in 60 days. So I can't pretend to understand wholly what peptides are. They are often described as building blocks of proteins. So they're found apparently in every cell and tissue in the human body and carry out a range of functions. So uh, clearly uh, the idea behind including peptides in this serum is to promote hair growth. I have used this, as I said earlier, daily for two months as recommended. So... Um, it's applied a little bit like a mascara. There's a, a brush and um, it's just a clear serum. You are supposed to use it morning and night for eight weeks minimum and you apply it to clean skin. Um, so, like I say, you apply a little bit like a mascara. You're swiping it over the brows. Now, what I did was I tried to go underneath a little bit to promote growth here and also over the years I plucked away at the edges here so much so that one of mine is actually I think naturally one brow sits higher than the other anyway because of aging so if I lift that they look actually a little bit more similar but at the moment one looks slightly further back than the other which isn't great so I've been trying to you know get them to grow in here a little bit by 
smudging this on and then applying like that. There we go. So morning and night you do that, you let it dry in and then I would put my moisturiser or foundation on um, during the day and um, you know cutting to the chase a couple of months on um, let me show you the before and after side by side so you can have a look for yourself. I would say I've got thicker looking brows. So um, fuller along the edges here, um, darker overall. Where you don't, where I didn't have any growth before, I have sporadic growth. So I've got sort of fine hairs growing in a bit underneath and here so fine that I can't really even show them. Um, they are just, if, if I, you know, I tried to get very close up, but I don't think you will see them. Um, I just had a little, a few hairs growing in here and here. No sensitivity whatsoever from it, which was good news. Although I did feel a little bit of like tingling or itching. Um, I sometimes get a similar thing when I use retinol. I will get like a tingling on my forehead. So it was, it was a similar sensation. Nothing to write home about, nothing to put me off using it. No rashes or anything like that. Another little downside to it though, was that even though I was wearing it on dry skin, and um, I was avoiding or trying to avoid getting my moisturiser anywhere near it. Whether it was natural oils on my skin or what, it clearly did make its way down to my eyelids because I noticed after about six weeks when I stood really close and looked in the mirror that I had a little covering of tiny faint hairs all over my lids either side. I plucked them out and they didn't grow in again, fingers crossed, but that was enough to kind of put me off. Um, so I used it much more sparingly up here and then eventually just moved on to wearing it here because I really didn't want to be plucking out hairs from my eyelids. So, I mean, that suggests it really does work. Uh, but the big problem is trying to get the hairs to grow back in in a, a kind of orderly, orderly, uniform fashion where you want them to be. That's the tricky bit. So what I would say sort of overall is it's really helpful in promoting thicker eyebrows that have more definition, but it is not so easy to use it to regrow hair that has not grown there for years. You tend to get these little sporadic hairs growing in here or there. I invested in a little Mac styler um, pencil. And so I, it has a brush on one end that I use to just sort of sweep up the hairs and then um, using the little crayon at the bottom I can start filling in the eyebrows near where those fine little downy hairs have grown in. Now trying to do this on a phone camera is really not a good idea but you kind of get the idea um, that just by having the slightly thicker brow, I think you get away with using the pencil more. It looks a bit more natural. So that's that side. Um, the MAC styler was £16 in the UK, uh, but I also picked up this Rimmel one for exactly half the price, £8, and it does the very same job. You could not tell them apart. Uh, just as lasting, completely similar, also has the brush at the other end. So, you know, why pay more when this does the same thing? And by using the pencil every day, I've now just got to the point where I can fill in my brows enough to get closer to that old shape. So that's the brows as I have them now. Um, using the serum and then a little bit of help with the uh, styler pen. And if I compare that to where I was back in October, I think the lady who commented on my Owl Therapy review would be a little happier with my brows now. And I've got to say that I think they do make a difference to the overall appearance. Um, they, they take some years off, I think, just by framing the face a bit better, giving you that sense of fullness, youth and vitality. So having now got into shaping my eyebrows and actually doing something with them, I would be quite keen after this whole pandemic horror story is over 
um, and we can kind of get out and back into normality again to um, get my eyebrows tattooed. I think that would be a, a, an interesting one to um, share on the channel as well. So, you know, let's hope that before too long, I can give that a go. Um, but for now, I would say the Rapid Brow is helpful in just giving you a little bit more fullness and depth uh, to the brows that you already have and helping increase, give you a little bit more around the edges. But like I say, that's coming in sporadic and it's pretty weak. Um, you can then top it up with a pen or pencil and um, get an overall fuller look. So it's been really helpful in actually just getting me from that pencil brow to something that passes as, as um, getting me slightly closer to these nice thick brows that I had 17. Gone, but not for gone. I hope you found this review helpful. There are loads more like it on the channel if you've got time to check them out. And if you hit subscribe, then I will see you next time. Until then, take care and thanks for watching.